literally thought that my forehead got bigger because I was pregnant. What? I should have been came to you. <laughs> Okay, so we doing this? This this what we doing? We gonna do it. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Kyra Shawn. So today's video is a little different. We're gonna be talking about my PCOS journey with hair loss, hair balding, and hair regrowth. Now with that being said, this is a personal journey for me. I am very protective of myself and putting myself out there. Um, I know you guys just like, you put yourself out there every day on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. This is a little bit different because this is actually that's something that's, you know, it's me it's something that affects me personally and it's not just me putting a wig on my head and so i'm only gonna say this once in the video tread lightly when you are if you think you're gonna try to be cute or petty or whatever else this is not the video for you okay this is just for informational purposes from my perspective okay so i'm not here to teach you anything i'm not here to suggest anything i'm just here to tell you what worked for me and to show you some pictures and video of my hair okay i have been suffering with this since 2011 so it's nothing new to me um and just know that the products that i'm using in this video that i showcase to you guys are things that i have come to like for myself i know everybody wants to get in the comments and give the suggestions and tell you what you should use, shouldn't use, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. If you're eating this, don't eat this, eat that, blah, blah. Just know this is my journey. I am good where I'm at right now. I'm just showcasing what I'm using, okay? So with all that being said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this one in the future. Let's go. Okay, so where should I begin? Hmm, once upon a time, <laughs> So like I said, I've been dealing with hair loss since 2011. Um, that was when I first noticed my first little bald spot in the middle of my crown. At that time, I was not aware of anything called PCOS or that I had it. Um, I had already had my first son naturally conceived, so there was nothing you know crazy with that. If you do not know, PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It does cause infertility issues as well as different things like hair loss, uh, male pattern baldness, excessive weight gain, excessive facial hair. You can have any one one or any two or three of the symptoms. Um, it's a lot more that goes into it, but these are like the main symptoms, the things that I was, you know, inflicted with. So like I said, 2011 is when I found my first bald spot. Um, fast forward to about 2014, I did do a big chop because the hair that was on my head was just not, it wasn't right, okay? It was not right. I was wearing wigs at the time, um, and I just wasn't taking care of my hair the way I should have been. I still had not been diagnosed with PCOS, so I thought it was just me being, you know, lazy, not taking care of my hair. So I literally had, like, permed hair in the front, natural hair in the middle, natural hair in the back. The middle of my hair was just breaking off uncontrollably. Some of the spots were just balding completely. Um, the front of my hair was super straight. The back of my hair was straight and natural. I had a little bit of everything on my head, but my whole head was a mess. So in February, 2014 I decided to go ahead and just cut it off and let it go for that big chop I didn't go like straight big chop I just kind of cut it pretty short just to kind of even it up with the middle of my head not thinking that anything else was wrong besides me not taking care of my hair and then in 2015 I started going to a fertility doctor because me and Ken Ken wanted to have some more kids um, and it wasn't really working after a year so come to find out after a bunch of tests I did have PCOS which not only caused infertility but also caused the hair loss balding um, and extra excess facial hair that I was getting. I didn't get like a lot, but I would get like little hairs like on my neck or whatever, nothing crazy though. Some women I do know get like actual five o'clock shadows, like they get actual beards. I didn't have to deal with that, but I did finally have an answer for why I was having so much hair loss, not only in my crown, but also around my hairline. Now I will say, when I started losing my hair around my hairline, I wasn't really noticing it that much. Um, and I didn't really notice it until July of 2017 after I had the twins. Um, um, my hair had grown a lot. From the big chop of 2014 to 2017, my hair was like down my back. I was like so happy, like, oh, we have natural hair growth going on, this, that, and the third. I was not really accepting that the middle of my hair was just not flourishing the way that it should have been. I had already did the big chop, so I wasn't planning on doing another one, but the middle of my hair was screaming for a big chop. It was over me and my shenanigans, it needed help. I was still wearing wigs, but I was still doing protective styling under my hair. Let me just tell you, if you don't know how to correctly protective style, you will damage your hair more than actually help it. And that's what I was doing. I was 
incorrectly protective styling my hair. In my mind, I thought protective styling was just putting the cornrows under your hair, protecting your hair under your wigs. I was wearing wigs dang there every day, so why not? So I just kept my cornrows in, I would take my cornrows out, wash my hair, condition it, slap the cornrows right back in. I wasn't doing anything else outside of that routine. I just kept putting more and more tension on my scalp. And my scalp was screaming for me to knock it off. Stop it, Kai. So much so that all of my hair literally let me show you guys from, so see this little line right here where my hairline starts? This was not there. This hair was not there. My hairline literally started here. So all this hair you see in front of that hairline was not there. True story. I literally thought that my forehead got bigger because I was pregnant. What? I was like, okay, my nose got bigger, my lips got bigger. I guess my forehead got bigger too. No. <laughs> I was not accepting that I was literally damaging my hair. I was killing off my hair follicles one by one because I was not taking care of my hair under my wigs. I was not doing what I needed to do. I did what I was supposed to do. I went on YouTube, I typed in fast natural hair growth, came up with a hundred videos with a million views about the big chop and the pre-poo and the poo and the moisturizers from A to Z and this, that, and the third. And I was like, I must be the fourth because I'm not getting it. <laughs> It's not working for me. Okay, so December of 2017, I decided, you know what? Let me just go ahead and big chop again. Ugh. I don't wanna do it, but I'ma do it. I'ma big chop again, and this time I'ma cut it a little bit shorter than I did back in 2014. I still wasn't into cutting it all off. I couldn't do the buzz cut. I wasn't, my head not shaped for that, okay? Neither is my face. So I was like, you know what? I can't, I can't commit to that, but I'll do the shortcut. So I cut it a little bit shorter, and I also started to use the um, Kaleidoscope Miracle Drop these little revitalizing miracle drops from you know the real bb judy or whatever on instagram everybody and their mama was buying them i think they were like 30 dollars when i bought them now i think they're like 19 or 20 dollars. i was buying like two and three bottles at a time because i was running through them joints quickly because i was like you know what i'm seeing all these testimonials i want my hair to grow like that okay youtube got me going crazy instagram got me going crazy i want the long hair the quickest way so i put the drops on my hair and i will say from december 2017 to about april 2018 my edges were growing in. Like they were flourishing y'all. They grew back. They were healthy. I was like, oh, hello hairline. I was using the drops in the middle of my hair. However, I still was not taking care of my hair the way I should have been. Even though it was shorter, I still was only washing and conditioning it and not really doing much else after the fact. I was just doing like oils or whatever and just, you know, keeping it like that. Even though I was watching all the YouTube videos, I wasn't really aware of the, you know, porosity of hair, you know, high porosity, low porosity, normal porosity. Porosity basically tells you how much moisture, um, um, your hair can retain. My hair based on the, you know, the porosity test is between low to normal. I would say more low than normal, mainly normal like here in the front, but like very, very low in the middle and the back because my hair is definitely two different textures. Um, in the front half of my hair is very like, I would say, 4A-ish, the middle and like the back half, maybe to like here, I would definitely say it's more like a 4C. And then the lower section of my hair, I would definitely give it more like a 3C, 4A, like teetering more 3C, like it's a very, very loose curl. So yeah, I got different patterns in my hair, so it's kind of like I gotta treat my hair differently with all the products that I, you know, that I was using. Um, and again, thanks to YouTube, I was using everything. I was using all the conditioners, leave-in and wash-out, I was using all the different shampoos, using all the oils, using all the, you know, uh, the sleeping methods. I was on it all and none of them were working for my hair. My hair was still dry. It was still brittle. It was still breaking off. It was still growing around the perimeter of my head, but the crown of my head was just not, it wasn't doing anything. It would like grow and then it would fall out. And I kept using the drops around the edges and you know, in the middle. But for some reason, when I stopped using the drops in the middle, the hair would just kind of break off and that'll be it. It wouldn't sustain the length around the edges though. It was fine. But in the middle of my head, it was a no. So I was like, you know, what? I'm getting fed up. And in December, of 2018 I decided to go in and straighten my hair because it had grown a lot in those 11 months and I also wanted to see if I needed to do a trim so y'all <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was doing. It must have been a late night. Maybe I had some wine. I don't know. I looked like Lord Farquhar. I looked ridiculous, but it let me see that my balding in the middle of my crown was even worse than I thought. Like y'all, if y'all look at this picture right here, do y'all see this? It widened from the initial cut to this, it got bigger. What? Like, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. But I did it anyway. I cut my hair again. Okay, December 2018, January 2019, I chopped it off again. Just cut it really, really short, as close as I was gonna get it without doing a buzz cut, and 
decide to start over. But I was like, this time has to be different. I can't keep cutting my hair every year. I can't do it. It's making me go crazy. Um, and at this time I was already on YouTube. You guys were already seeing me doing makeup and I had just started doing wigs. And before you guys ask, you can take medication with PCOS. And with that, it does slow down the um, symptoms of PCOS. So it does not make your hair grow back, but it helps you not lose any more. So I do take a low dose of that. It also helps with your weight because you do have excessive weight gain with PCOS. It's something to do with your insulin. Like you're producing way too much sugar things like that so it's a very frustrating thing to have it's like okay so now I gotta gain weight just by breathing candy can't have kids the way that I want to also gotta lose my hair like for a woman it's just kind of like so last big chop January 2019 I figured you know what this is my last time I'm gonna do this I need to get myself together I need to grow my hair out the best way I know how okay so I went back on YouTube again okay went back on YouTube looked up all my natural hair gurus tried to find again the fastest way to grow your hair naturally, but this time not using as many products, right? So I found the LOC method and the LOC method is liquid oil and conditioner. The girl I was watching saying, you know, only do it twice a week, that's all you need. I'm like, okay, cool, I can do it, I can do it. So I went out and bought all the conditioners and creams and you know, oils and got my water together and I did it, did my little twist out and I was like, oh, okay, I can do this, this works. I put my scarf on, went to sleep, woke up the next morning and my hair was dry, that low porosity. I was you know what I can't do this I'm obviously not built for the YouTube natural life I can't I can't she told me one to two times a week but now you tell me I gotta do it every day I should have been came to you <laughs> I can't do this every day. Why? Because I don't feel like it. Okay, I'm a lazy natural, but I still tried it, okay? From about six to seven months in 2019, that's all I was doing. Okay, LOC this, LOC, 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 LOC. I was LOC'd out, you hear me? I couldn't do it anymore, I had to stop it. I had to stop it, let it go, okay? And I actually came up with my new method by accident. My hair had grown long enough that I could do cornrows, I was really excited, and I went back to my tried and true baby blue Blue magic, okay? Put some cornrows in my hair, and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like doing my hair right now. I started wearing my press-ons again, and I just ended up leaving the hair in for about two months. Like literally, I, the two months had came and went, and I was like, oh dang, I ain't do my hair in a while, so let me go ahead and take these out and you know see what happened. Well, what had happened was, my hair started growing. Like y'all, the middle of my hair started growing. Mm. Like I haven't done anything to my hair, no LOC. No extra oils, no extra conditioners, no pre-poo, no poo, no moisturizer, no nothing. And it's growing my hair. Hmm. So that two month experience of not doing nothing helped me come up with my new natural girl method. And it is called leave it the f alone. Mm-hmm, that's what it's called. Why, because that's what the heck I'm doing with my hair. I'm not touching it, okay? Don't touch it. That is what's worked for me and I am a huge fan of it, okay? Huge fan. So much so that I took out all that excess product, all that excess what junk, all that money I was spending on all them YouTube products, took them out. I also got her sister, this is the castor oil version, y'all. These two together, magic, literally, okay? It keeps my hair moisturized. It's only one product. I don't gotta do water, oil, and conditioner. I can just do grease, okay? <laughs> Lazy, natural, that's what I want. And I got rid of the Kaleidosco Miracle Drops. I wasn't gonna spend no more money on that because that was that was racking up the coins. So I did get this from YouTube, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. You can get this from your beauty supply store, Amazon, Walmart, wherever else. But I use this on my edges only and I also use it sometimes in the middle of my scalp. This side of my hairline flourishes all the time. I'll never have any issues. However, this side right here, sometimes I'll have breakage and I can tell when it's, you know, when it's breaking off. So I'll just hit it with my castor oil a couple times a week or I'll use my Do Grow Hair Oil or I'll eat even use the baby don't be bald hair grease that I got from Amazon. Thanks to my cousin Nett, she put me onto that for my daughter, um, but I actually started using that on my hair as well, and that joint grows hair like this. Then I also make sure I take my biotin. I get this from Walmart, um, this is the Spring Valley version. And with all that being said, I still don't go in and wash my hair for about two to three months. I know some of y'all gonna be like, ew, that's nasty. Like three months is like pushing it, that's like the max. Normally around that two month range is when I'm just like, okay, let me go ahead and wash it. But yes, I literally leave my little dude plaits in my silly plaits in I don't really do cornrows like that anymore because it just puts too much tension on my hair and I don't want to you know I don't want to start that breakage routine again so the first day I normally wash and condition my hair rinse it all out and then just let it air dry let it sit I'll do nothing with it I let my hair rest the second day is when I go in and detangle my hair and then I'll part it in four sections grease my scalp and then put it in the four you know twist or whatever rarely do I do plaits anymore just because I feel like it makes my hair more you know matted I do four chunky twists and then I just pin them back 
back kind of like in a French braid style um, and bobby pin them to the sides there. But more recently in the last like maybe like six months, I started to put one plait here in the middle just because I'm learning that the bald spot that's in the middle of my hair, it grows a lot more when that spot is hidden. Like it doesn't like to be exposed to the elements. For whatever reason, when I have that section exposed, I start to see more breakage in there. But I think it's because like, you know, my wig cap is, you know, pulling on that spot or things like that, or the wig can be pulling on it or just the tension or just the air hitting my scalp. I don't know, it doesn't like it. It likes to be confined. It likes to be hidden. So I just use this section of hair right here and I plait it up by itself and you know, lay it flat or whatever, bobby pin that down to the back two sections and I leave it like that and it stays like that. And when I take that out in the, like two months, I have more hair growth. I'll see more fuzzies in there, like you know, around the sides of it and also in the middle. So I'm like, obviously that's working. It's not a whole bunch of things I need to do with my hair. I'm not saying that whoever you watch on YouTube is wrong. Um, that may work for them. That may be good for their hair texture. This is just me telling you guys what has worked for me in the last, I would say 15 months. Um, and that's what I'm keep on doing. Now the shampoo and conditioner that I use is pretty sporadic. It's whatever I buy. It's, I don't really go looking for, you know, certain things. I do make sure that I don't have any type of sulfates in my shampoo. Um, but other than that, I pretty much just use any shampoo conditioner. Just want to clean my hair out and all the rest of that comes with, you know, the blue magic and it doesn't build up my hair. I don't get a whole bunch of build up, you know, flakiness in my hair. So I'm thankful for that. As you guys have seen, my hair has been through a lot. Okay. It's been through a lot, but look at where we are now. I mean, not, not this. Okay. This is, this is a little hair piece. This is a hair piece. <laughs> But my little ponytail right here, okay, she, we got something going, y'all. We got something going. We, fi we finally getting back in that ponytail gang, okay? So I'm not mad at her at all. All. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys. If you have any questions or things that I didn't mention in the video or things that you still want to know about or whatever, drop a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer you. If you still have not clicked that subscribe button down below, definitely go ahead and do that. I'm going to try, not try, I am. I will be in the year 2021. I will be doing more natural hair looks on my channel. I want to try to, you know, manipulate it a little bit. Not too much though. Cause I, like I said, I, want, I don't want to put too much tension on my scalp. Um, but I do want to manipulate it a little bit to you know, do more styles rather than just sitting under the wigs. And I also still have a bald spot. I don't think that one's gonna grow back. I think that one's pretty much just done. And I'm pretty sure that was the first bald spot I got. Like that's like the, that's the longest one I've had. So I think that's why that one's kind of like, you know, girl, we done. The hair follicles are gone. So we'll see how this turns out, y'all. I'm excited to try some new things, okay? But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.